Hello everyone and welcome back to Brooke's Beauty Bazaar. My name is Brooke and in today's video I'm going to be sharing everything that is fungal acne safe from the Inky List and Disciple London. Roll the footage. So today's video is going to be a double brand overview as I'm going to be talking to you about two indie brands that have some really good fungal acne safe offerings. The first of those brands is The Inky List. They debuted in 2018 and their mission is skincare from a knowledge perspective, an educational perspective. So if you go to their website, they definitely have a lot of educational videos that people can watch and their formulations are pretty simplistic and as far as like what they offer and the formulation of everything, they very much remind me of The Ordinary. And then the second brand is gonna be Disciple London, and this brand is pretty unique because it was developed by a psychotherapist, and she was dealing with a lot of inflammatory issues such as adult acne, eczema, and things that are kind of more heavily induced by stress and poor mental health. So her brand is actually considered to be more of a wellness brand, but they definitely have a heavy skincare element to it. Before we get into to the products, I did just want to point out that both of these brands are more UK based. Definitely Disciple is. You can only buy Disciple in America at Urban Outfitters and I think the stock would be very limited there. I've never purchased it there. Instead, I usually purchase my Disciple from Colt Beauty. Um, I've had a couple of you guys reach out to me and ask what kind of skincare is available that's fungal acne safe in the UK. So today's video hopefully can start to kind of bridge that gap for you guys. You can buy all the products that I'm mentioning today on Colt Beauty or Beauty Bay, which ship internationally or worldwide. And then if you're in the UK, you'll be able to find these products in certain stores. Um, and then if you're in the US, you can get the Inky List at Sephora as well. All right, guys, let's talk products. Let's do this. So let's start out with the Inky List. They have five total products to shop that are fungal acne safe. And we are going to kick it off with their Alpha Hydroxy Serum. Now, this blend of AHAs is fruit derived, and it is supposed to give you that gentle exfoliation exfoliation without all of the irritation. It also contains their multi-molecular hyaluronic acid, which is basically just different weights of hyaluronic acid, so some of them are going to penetrate a little more deeply than others. I think I talked about this in my ordinary video. They have the same kind of technology most people really do, but the addition of that ingredient in this product is going to plump and hydrate the skin at the same time as you get that nice exfoliation. If you wanted to give this product a go, this is one of those products that you would use after you have cleansed and toned your face if you're gonna do that. Um, so it's kind of that treatment step of your routine. It's gonna go in the middle before you put moisturizer on. This product is something that you could use either AM or PM, but I would only use it one time a day. And honestly, I think for best results, you should use this in the PM. Just remember with all acids and when it comes to your skin, you need to be using a sunscreen or you're going to do some very irreversible damage. If you guys need help choosing a fungal acne safe sunscreen, I will link my video on that topic in the bar below. So just look for the sun emojis. Product number two from the Inky List is their Beta Hydroxy Acid Blemish and Blackhead Serum. This is going to be composed of 2% salicylic acid. It also has that multi-molecular hyaluronic acid in it. And then it also has zinc, which is supposed to help with oil control. So again, this is one of those products that is going to really get into your pores and get all of the dead skin and clogging out. It is also something that can fight your fungal acne and your regular acne at the same time. So it would be a good treatment option if you haven't found something that is working for you. And while we're on the topic of salicylic acid and treating your acne and such things, just because salicylic acid is a good product for killing your fungal acne and it's one that I personally do prefer, it doesn't mean that it's something that you need to be using nonstop all the time. So just because something says you can use this twice a day doesn't necessarily mean you should be using this twice a day. If you are going to use it, it's again part of that treatment process. So you would use this after you cleanse your skin and tone your skin if you so choose. And then before you put your moisturizer, again, it is vital that you have a really good sunscreen and it is also vital that you are making sure to replenish moisture to your skin with a solid moisturizer if you need help finding one of those. I also have a video on it and I will link it below. Next up is their Vitamin C Brightening Cream. Now this is 30% pure L-sorbic acid, which is your vitamin C, and then it is going to be mixed with primarily dimethyl which is a silicone so that's just going to be mixed together to make this into like a paste that is spreadable onto your skin. 
it. I do just want to point out that this is a highly concentrated product. So you need to be aware of who you are and whether or not you actually need this product because it can cause some irritation. You could get redness from this. I'm just throwing that out there. Be careful with this product, but if you do want to indulge, totally fine. What you can expect from this product is to see anti-aging benefits. So you're going to see the reduction of hyperpigmentation and dark spots. You'll have more clarity and brightness to your skin. If you buy this product, make sure you apply it using the package directions. It tells you to use a pea size amount for your face and neck and follow that up with a moisturizer. So again, it's going to fall into that treatment realm. It's after your cleansing, before you're putting on your moisturizer. The reviews on this product do talk heavily about it pilling. Everyone's like, don't buy this product because of that. The reason behind that is just because it's such a simple formulation and it's got that dimethicone in it primarily. One of the things that I think they could be doing wrong is that they're using too much of that product. So then it pills, that will happen with any product. And then another thing I think they could be doing to get that pilling is layering too many products together or applying their moisturizer too soon after applying this product. So buyer beware. Next up, we have the Snow Mushroom Gel Moisturizer. Gel formulas when it comes to moisturizer are not really my favorite one, but there do tend to be a lot of them on the market that are fungal acne safe, and this one is no exception. That Snow Mushroom ingredient is supposed to have a nice cooling effect to the skin, as well as adding optimal hydration. I'm not sure if I've ever used another product that has Snow Mushroom in it, so I would definitely be down to try this product just because out of all the fungal acne safe moisturizers that are out there I still haven't found one that I'm just like oh I gotta preach this from the mountaintops to everybody that I know I think it would be a good option to try if you haven't found something you really love yet and last but not least we have their 100% plant-derived squalane oil now this squalane oil is definitely fungal acne safe because it is 100% sugarcane derived which is what we're looking for I spoke with their customer service rep about it and can verify that for you so you don't have to worry. It's just kind of gonna be like every other squalane oil on the market. It's a very lightweight oil. It adds some hydration to your skin as well as has some anti-aging benefits. This is definitely not gonna be your most affordable squalane oil that's out there on the market. The Ordinary definitely has that one taken care of. So if you're looking for a squalane oil and you want something that's natural and you wanna support a small brand like this, this would be a good alternative for you. So we are midway through this video. We have just finished all of the products that are fungal acne safe by the Inky List. And before we move on to Disciple London, I wanna hear from you guys. So go to the comments right now and answer one of these questions for me. Have you guys used anything by the Inky List? And if so, did you really like the product? Tell us below. And if you're not big on words, that's okay too. Just go down there and press subscribe so you don't miss any more of my content. And while you guys are down there, it is a good time to remind you that I have free fungal acne shopping guides to Walmart, Target, Ulta, and Sephora. All you need to do to get those is click the link in the description bar below and just look for the shopping cart emojis. All right, so we are now going to see what they have that is fungal acne safe from Disciple London. And it turns out that there is an equal five products that we can shop. And we are going to start out with a cleanser, which is really exciting because I feel like it's very rare that we find a cleanser. It is their Clean and Serene Face Wash. They describe this as a gentle morning detox. It's very bright and refreshing. It's supposed to give you some gentle exfoliation as well as pull all of that excess sebum from your skin so that you can really prep it for your skincare routine and and getting ready for the day. This product is pretty cool. It comes in a biodegradable bottle. That's a pretty cool aspect to this product. In this cleanser, there is an ingredient called soap bark extract, and that is an unverified ingredient. If I had to guess, it's not gonna be harmful at all to those of us suffering from fungal acne, but it is just something to keep in mind in case you wanna err on the side of caution. I do just wanna add right here that if you guys are interested in trying a product that has one or two questionable ingredients and you're kind of scared about it, a cleanser is probably a really good place to do that just because you're not having long contact time with your actual skin. It's not gonna sit on your skin throughout the day. You're literally gonna put it on, it's gonna to get to work, and then you're gonna rinse it right off. So the chances of you having a negative reaction to it are gonna be a lot slimmer. The next product is called Mask Me Mist. This is a new product that I actually saw on Disciples website, so I don't think they yet have it on Beauty Bay or on Cult Beauty, but it should be coming along soon. So this mist is antibacterial and antiviral, they say, um, and it's supposed to soothe angry skin and kind of help prevent those breakouts from forming. 
Now, if this product isn't telling of the times that we live in, I don't know what is. And while they are definitely trying to capitalize on the pandemic and everything here, I actually find this product to be very intriguing and I would like to try it. Next up, we have a product that they call Buff. Now, this is a very unique product. It is a pineapple and bamboo powder that is supposed to be something you add to your cleanser or your lip balm or any of your other products to make it a physical exfoliator. One thing to point out here is that the bamboo does contain amino acids and in the presence of lipids, those could cause the growth of malassezia. And another thing to point out is that the pineapple powder itself is not a verified ingredient one way or another. There's just little known about it. But I'd be willing to bet that this is gonna be totally safe, not causing you any issues at all, because again, this is like a cleanser where you're gonna rub it into your skin really quickly, but it's not staying on your skin. So if you're interested, just make sure you patch test, but I'm pretty sure you'll be fine. Next up, we have the Disciple Balancing Mist. Now, this one you guys may remember because that is the bottle that I have. I bought this product so, so long ago before I even knew I had fungal acne and used it all up back then. It's composed of geranium water primarily, and it does have one ingredient. The copper that's used in this could potentially cause the growth of malassezia when mixed with other lipids. So just be aware of that. Maybe steer clear of using your squalane oil at the same time as you're using this product. It's been too long for me to give you a genuine review of this stuff, but I do remember really liking it when I bought it and wanting to repurchase it. Ever since I ran out of the actual product, I've been using this same bottle to just add water to so that I can use it in my moisturizing routine. Give this video a thumbs up if you have seen me using this green bottle before because I know you have. This product is meant to be used kind of as one of those refreshing products so you can either add this over top of your makeup to kind of give yourself a one-up refreshed look or you can actually use it as a toner in your skincare routine so whichever way you want to do it it's up to you. I just use this as a toner before my moisturizer. So last but certainly not least we have the Juicy Mist and this product is so legit you guys. So this product was actually made with the purpose of adding that extra boost of hydration to your skin when you've been just wreaking havoc all over your skin by using all of those drying, acne-fighting type of products. And I happen to know that whether or not you guys are willing to admit it, there are many of you out there who are actually combating really dry skin because you're not using moisture as much as you should. So this product is a mix of orange blossom water, hyaluronic acid, and aloe vera. So let's just pump the brakes for a second. And I just wanna remind you, Remember just a second ago when I was telling you about that whole three-step moisturizing routine I do? This product has the ability to cut that into just two steps and also I think the addition of that aloe vera is gonna be killer. Honestly, if there was one product that you guys were gonna purchase out of all the stuff I've mentioned in this video, it would be this one. I've already added it to my shopping cart and it is already on its way to me because I could not wait when I realized that I had duped myself into getting balancing mist when I should have gotten juicy mist all along. As you did with the inky list already, go down to the comment section right now and tell me which of the Disciple skincare products you are most excited to try or if you've tried any of them and what you think of them right now. Otherwise, you guys know the drill. I have linked all of these products so that you can shop them with ease in the bar below. I have included both links for US, so some of these will be through Sephora and then for the UK, it's gonna be through Cult Beauty and then if you're getting anything Disciple, you'll be having the link to Cult Beauty because I highly recommend shopping over there. You can also shop all of these products at brooksbeautybazaar.com by clicking shop at the top of the page. And if you'd like to quickly direct your attention to the left side of the screen, I am linking two videos I think you'll like. The first is Everything Fungal Acne Safe in the Sephora Collection, and the second is Fungal Acne Safe Products at The Ordinary. Be sure you guys are following me on Instagram at Brooks Beauty Bazaar where I hang out every single day and press subscribe right now so you can join me on my mission to prove that clear skin and amazing makeup can coexist.